Hello, student athletes, coaches, and parents. My name is Sarah, and I'm here to welcome you to Brookfield's annual athletic banquet. Though it is disappointing not to see everyone in person, we are very excited to celebrate the achievements of Brookfield's athletes on the field, on the court, on the track, and on the ice. Myself, Maruna, and Imad will be your MCs for the award show. This year's athletic leadership class has put a tremendous amount of effort into putting together this virtual award ceremony. We'd like to start off by saying thank you to the coaches who made all of our training, practices, and games possible. Your dedication and commitment to Brookfield's athletics is very much appreciated. And none of this would be possible without you guys volunteering your time. Thank you so much. We will be presenting the team awards first. Three awards will be presented for each team. First, the award for sportsmanship. Second, the award for most improved player. And finally, most valuable player. The awards for each sport will be announced in chronological order by season, with the fall sports first and the winter sports second. We will then finish the award show with our major individual awards presented by Ms. Dales. First up, we have Abdulie to tell us about the Brookfield golf team, which was coached by Mr. Stevenson. This year, boys and girls golf team featured 16 golfers. After practice round was held at Manderley Golf Course, Johnny Fluid and James Smith entered competitive tournament at Emerald links with the golfers from all over the east side of Ottawa. Meanwhile, Iris Kinesis, Danny Nices, and Maria Sola took part in clinic before playing nine holes at Manderley. None of the golfers advanced to further competition, but everyone improved their skills and enjoy golfing in the fall. We hope to see even more golfers out next year. Thank you, Abdullahi. Congratulations to this year's golf team award winners. Most sportsmanlike, Maria Sola. Most improved, Jenny Nassiz. And most valuable player, James Smith. Next up, we have Najma to tell us about the junior girls basketball team coached by Mr. Edwards. Despite missing the playoffs, the junior girls basketball team had a fun and successful season. The girls faced stiff competition from much bigger schools, but almost always held their own and demonstrated good sportsmanship. The girls who worked hard in practice were also supportive of each other on the bench and saw their skills improve as the season went on. They're looking forward to returning to the court next year. Thank you, Najma. Congratulations to the following award winners for the junior girls basketball team. Most sportsmanlike, Hong Yi Wu. Most improved, Rihanna Uadfel and most valuable player, Mina Mosa. Next up, we have Ernest to tell us about the senior girls basketball team coached by Mr. Kyle Skinner. The senior girls basketball team had a very successful season, coming in third place in the city and only losing two games all year. The season began with a small but enthusiastic group of ladies coming out to trouts, with only two players having ever played organized basketball at any level. Coach Kyle and Ms. Dales weren't to league play. After dropping their season opener to the eventual league champions, the girls rattled off seven straight wins to finish the season with an impressive 7-1 record. The story of the, of the year was undoubtedly how each lady played an important role on the team. No one player carried this year's squad, as the girls had balanced scoring and contributions across the board. Highlights include Fatima's amazing box outs, Kota becoming a different person every time she popped in her mouth guard nor getting her first high school bucket against La Soudi, and the team earning a huge playoff victory against Omar Delorier at home in a thriller. The season confirmed a few things as well for Coach Kyle. One, girls do in fact listen better than boys. Two, the only way to get Salma to stop fouling is to make a bet with her that she gets to shave Coach's head if she can go a full game without committing a foul. It was a pleasure coaching you girls this season. Best of luck to our graduating class. And to the grade 11s coming back next year, be sure to start recruiting your friends. Thank you, Ernest. Congratulations to the following award winners for the senior girls basketball team. Most sportsmanlike, Riwa al Musawi, Most improved, Fatima al bajan And most valuable player, Clara Gibbon. Next up, we have Abiha to tell us about all the junior and senior boys soccer teams, coached by Mr. Texera. Junior boys soccer team started slowly with a difficult loss to eventually the city championships. 
but with hard work and practice and infusion of new team players and coaches, they gleated into a playoff team. Unfortunately, they were on the short end of 2-1 hard-fought first-round loss. The highlight of the season was the first win of the season, competing with only 11 players. The boys came back three times from two goals deficits to win 6-4. Congratulations to the boys for an unsuspected successful season. Senior Boys Soccer after riddling the team from 40 to 16, we had little time to mesh together the boys who had not spent much time together on the field. Despite the tough competition, the senior boys always had great attitudes at games and practices, and even had a small Brazilian dance party to celebrate advertising at our peak performance level. Coach Brossier had a great time coaching the guys and wishes them the best moving forward in their soccer careers. Thank you, Abia. Congratulations to the following award winners for the junior boys soccer team. Most sportsmanlike, Mahmoud Al Darawi. Most improved, Sam McDonald. And most valuable player, Salim Gamia. Congratulations to the following award winners for the senior boys soccer team. Most sportsmanlike, Theo Suarez de Azevedo Rajavali. Most improved, Jason Liu and most valuable player, Fernando Takeda Novaez. Next up, we have Haley to tell us about the junior and senior boys rugby sevens team, coached by Mr. Coulson, Mr. Derby, and Mr. Grills. The junior boys rugby team was a group with a lot of passion and enthusiasm. With a large contingent of new players this year, they came together as a team and showed real progress over the course of the tournament season. They participated in tournaments at Ridgemont and Hillcrest and the league tournament at Twin Elm. All are disappointed that we couldn't continue the progress in the spring 15 season, but we all look forward to next year. The senior boys rugby team was a mixture of returning vets and a few new faces. As always, the boys played with passion and determination. They fared well at tournaments held by Richmond and Hillcrest and battled fiercely at the league tournament at Twin Elm. There's a strong core of players who would have put us in a good position for 15's play this spring. To the grads, the coaches share your disappointment in not being able to finish off what you started four years ago. Thank you, Haley. Congratulations to the following award winners for the Junior Boys Rugby Sevens team. Most sportsmanlike, Ahmed Miraja. Most improved, Kasim Awada. And most valuable player, Ethan Carnegie. Congratulations to the following award winners for the Senior Boys Rugby Sevens team. Most sportsmanlike, Bao Nugan. Most improved, Zane Zaho Murray. And most valuable player, Mason Magram. Next up, we have Fatima to tell us about the Ultimate Team, coached by Mr. Goforth and Mr. Gumpert. Following this, Maruna will be taking over as MC. Brookfield's ultimate season began early in the school year. A band of 30-odd students got together twice a week after school with their two coaches. It seemed the days of practice were chosen based on the intensity of the wind. In time, beach throws became flicks and cut and stack became part of the regular dialogue. They competed in two tournaments at the novice level. They won some games and lost some games, but the one thing the players can be proud of is that they won the most spirited team award. They took to their field in their fresh bubblegum pink team shirts for their first tournament. And by the end of the tournament, they learned that they did not bring enough ice water. Their second tournament proved that they had brought too much. Oh, the memories, playing games after games with no substitutions. Iris running barefoot to catch the early morning bus. The dewy fields of Manatic playing their first game in the heat and their last in the snow. Congratulations to the following awards winners for the ultimate team. Most sportsmen like Joel Scully, most improved Sandy Nguyen, most valuable player Warren Gorber Wakabayashi. Next up, we have Joel to tell us about the tennis team coached by Mr. Briglio. This year's tennis team was one of the most motivated groups in recent history. We had many first year players who practiced hard to gain the skills that were needed to compete against teams that were well established. With a season that consisted of only two tournaments, the team challenged their opponents and won a number of sets. This year, Brookfield sent two players to the championship tournament, who had great success. For the first time, Brookfield is proud to say we have a city champion in the girls' singles category. We also had a second place finish in the city boys' category. All players battled hard all season and had a ton of fun. Congratulations goes out to all the players and we look forward to next year's. Congratulations to the following award winners for the boys' tennis team. Most sportsmen like Joel Scully, 
most improved Travis Bonin, and most valuable player Milan Djordjevic. And the award winners for the girls tennis team are most sportsmanlike Ali Shonwell, most improved Audrey Chanchar, and most valuable player Milena Djordjevic. Next up, we have Iris to tell us about the hockey team, coached by Miss McLean. With a new coaching staff and many first-year players, the hockey team had a lot of work to do to get ready for the season. The team worked hard in practice and played hard in games. Home games at Brewer Arena were exciting as many Brookfield students filled the benches with signs and encouragement. The team demonstrated great sportsmanship when faced in challenging competition and developed considerably as the season progressed. We are very grateful to Pete and Brandon for their dedicated coaching and we look forward to getting back on the ice next year. Congratulations to the following award winners for the hockey team. Most sportsmen like Kyla Druin, most improved Theo Dennis, most valuable player Evan Daly. Next up we have Malak to tell us about the senior boys volleyball team coached by Mr. Malone. Our volleyball season was quite a journey with many bumps down the road. As our season progressed, the team built great chemistry and strengthened already existent friendships. At every practice, the team worked harder and harder, giving it their all to become better. In games, we had some wicked servers and some powerful hitters, which I'm sure you wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of. Exception blocks, and most importantly, a lot of laughs and a ton of fun. This was the first time in almost five years Brookfield has had a senior boys volleyball team, and they did it justice. It was an action-packed, fun-filled season. Congratulations to the following award winners for the senior boys volleyball team. Most sportsmen like Joel Scully, most improved Alex Torignaghi, most valuable player Bao Nguyen. Our fall sports had an amazing season this year with so many impressive accomplishments. Next up, we have the winter sports, starting with Justin telling us about the badminton team coached by Mr. Texera. The boys and girls junior and senior badminton team coached by Mr. Texera for this year, we had an interesting mixed team. With many returning players along with new players, there was also a positional movement of players with some trying out for new categories such as singles, doubles, or simply changing up their partners. The athletes woke up early in the morning to attend the morning practices and worked hard to improve their game. There are many players who are excited and motivated to see how they are going to compete this year, but unfortunately, the season was not able to kick off and that will be put off till next season. The coach encourages everyone to keep playing and try out for the team again next year. As the badminton team was not able to compete in tournaments, there are no award winners this year. Next up, we have Leanne to tell us about the grade 9 girls volleyball team coached by Miss Eliev. The grade 9 girls volleyball team had a great season. The team had a solid bond from the start, with many of the girls having gone to school together for years. Their practices were always fun, almost as fun as the bus rides to and from their two citywide tournaments. The first tournament had its ups and downs, with the team getting a taste of both victory and defeat. The second tournament was much of the same, and the girls can be proud that no matter what, every member showed great sportsmanship and a positive attitude. Way to go girls, and hope to see you continue with volleyball in the future. Congratulations to the following award winners for the grade 9 girls volleyball team. Most sportsmen like Tamaris Kardash, most improved Dinat Galani, most valuable player Arona Pleka. Next up, we have Tyreek to tell us about the varsity boys basketball team coached by Mr. Kyle Skinner. Having coached many of the players for three plus years already, expectations were high for the senior boys basketball team heading into the season. From the onset, the boys had their goal set on securing home court advantage for the playoffs and winning a city championship for Brookfield. The boys started the season off with a nail biter winning on the last few possessions of the game versus Sir Guy Carlton. After that, they settled into a comfortable role, winning their next few games before the holiday break. In the new year, the boys suffered their first loss of the season in a game that slipped away from them versus De La Salle. The boys held a team of meeting following the loss and vowed that they wouldn't drop another game for the remainder of the year. After surviving another scare versus Sir Guy Carlton in the semifinals, the boys were set to face the only team who had beaten them all year in the finals. In typical Brookfield fashion, the boys raced out to a quick start, leading 11-0 at one point. But true to form, they let other team back into the game and suddenly found themselves down 13-11, with all the momentum on De La Salle's side. This is where the boys dug down and logged in for the remainder of the game, playing tough on both sides of the ball 
eventually pulling away and earning the victory. From Johnny's claps every time he scored the basket, to Ethan's ability to dunk, which he saved until the semifinals to do, this year was memorable for one, for all the right reasons. To the seniors, congratulations on going out on top. You earned the right to call yourselves champions. To the returning players, be sure to work on your skills this summer. Let's run it back one more time. Congratulations to the following award winners for the varsity boys basketball team. Most sportsmanlike, Ernest Chioyo. Most improved, Ethan Carnegie. Most valuable player, Justin Miller Fraser. Next up, we have Noor to tell us about the senior girls volleyball team, coached by Miss Dales. Following this, Emad will be taking over as MC. We knew that this year's senior girls volleyball team would be a strong team, with four grade 12s returning and many skilled grade 11s moving up. The girls focus on consistent serves and passes throughout the season, which brought them to a record of six wins and two losses. They faced Sacred Heart in the quarterfinals and unfortunately ended their season there. The girls were fearless in both practices and games, diving for balls, being aggressive with blocks and tips at the net, and they showed so much improvement in their communication, both on and off the court. We are looking forward to another strong senior girls volleyball team in the 2020-2021 school year, and we definitely hope that our seniors will continue to play volleyball in coming years and that we will miss them so much. Congratulations to the following award winners of the senior girls volleyball team. The most sportsmanlike is Clarissa Macropia. The most improved is Gabrielle Gingras. And the most valuable player is Salma Al Hassoun. Next up, we have Rana to tell us about the wrestling team coached by Miss Vanderwood. The Brookfield wrestling team enjoyed a strong rebuilding year with leadership from veteran wrestlers and a strong showing from novices. Molly Muck and James Hayashi, both former Brookfield wrestlers, supported Miss Vanderwood and the team through the long winter of practices. Division Wrestling Governor Selwyn D'Souza also helped develop the team. Over 20 students wrestled in at least one tournament. While practices proved our most dangerous in terms of injury, we endured sprains, bruises, dislocations, and tooth chips in stride. Brookfield celebrated with city champions in five weight categories. Gold medals went to Sami Albijan and Alvin Akinwolden. Silver medals were won by Kasim Awada, Bao Nguyen, and Alex Yorsten. Both Keely Timpson and Florence Yaslak performed extremely well and were awarded bronze medals in their weight categories at the end of the season. Brookfield was well represented at AFSA and Sioux St. Marie by our city champions, but medals eluded us this year. Good job, wrestlers. Congratulations to the following award winners of the wrestling team. The most sportsmanlike is Bao Nguyen. The Rookie of the Year female is Florence Yazdani. The Rookie of the Year male is Alex Yorsten, and the most valuable player is Yazdan Hassan Abadi. Next up, we have Tristan to tell us about the Nordic Ski Team coached by Mr. Denigre. The Nordic Ski Team got off to a late start this year due to a lack of snow, but when the snow finally arrived in January, our team of international skiers couldn't wait to ski the tracks at Mooney's Bay. Coach Denigre had never seen such an enthusiastic group of skiers. Team members came from Brazil, Vietnam, Japan, China, and Canada. All started with little to no experience skiing. All finished the season bombing down Moody's Bay Hill and competing at the Nakertok Ski Center race event. Coach Janigris would like to thank all the members for persevering through the cold and those early practices when learning to ski was not so easy. Have a great summer team! Congratulations to the following award winners of the Nordic Ski Team. The most sportsmanlike is Liam Bevington, the most improved is Riau Howe, and the most valuable player is Wataru Otani. Next up, we have Amin to tell us about the curling team coached by Mr. DeForest. The curling teams this year had very successful seasons as both teams made the playoffs. The girls team was mostly made up of first year curlers, which really makes their season a wonderful year, finishing in seventh place out of 14 teams. Only one player of the seven on the team was a returning player. In their first game against the eventual first place team in the league, they scored five points which was a quarter of the points their competitors gave up all season long. Although the girls started slowly winning one of five games, they finished strong, winning their last three regular season games to earn their playoff spot. The highlight shot of the season was a raised double takeout by Sandy Nugent to clinch the victory. The boys team consisted of only one first year curler, three veterans, and one second year curler. The boys also played the eventual first place team in the league during their first game and gave them a challenge by scoring five points as well. 
the boys team won the final two games of the season to earn their seventh place seed. The highlight games of the season was Michael Arts leading them to a dominant 7-1 victory over Immaculata and a 5-4 victory over St. Pius, the third place team in the league. Overall, Mr. DeForest is very proud of both teams and the representation of Brookfield. He thanks them for all their considerable efforts this year. Great season. Congratulations to the following award winners of the boys curling team. The most sportsmanlike is Declan Lomonaco. Most improved is Travis Bonin. And most valuable player is Mitchell Arts. And for the girls, the most sportsmanlike is Iris Canizares. Most improved is Yumna Abuchar. And most valuable player is Sandy Nguyen. Next up, we have Alexis to tell us about the Junior Boys Volleyball team coached by Mr. Malone. The Junior Boys Volleyball season was really focused on training their grade nines, especially since they made up a majority of the team. The coaches worked to show them how Brookfield Volleyball is played. Our school is small and has to rely on hard work, so it was important to show them that effort was the most important thing. Our coaches were proud to coach our players because they had truly learned what it meant to play Brookfield Volleyball. Hopefully next season it can translate into more wins. So the following award winners of the Junior Boys Volleyball team coached by Mr. Malone. The most sportsmanlike player goes to Alex Bojilov. The most improved goes to Mohamed Al-Kabuli. And the most valuable player goes to Milan Georgievich. Next up, we have Theo to tell us about the junior girls volleyball team coached by Miss Savory and Miss McLean. The 2019-2020 junior girls volleyball team created strong bonds through our early morning practices and had lots of fun. From running through the hallways of Brookfield as a warm-up to figuring out the correct height for our nets, the girls approached every challenge with a positive and sportsmanlike attitude. Unfortunately, the junior girls volleyball team only had the opportunity to play one half of their season. However, the girls developed considerably in such a short time we had together and we can't wait to get back on the court next year. Thank you so much to Gabby and Salma, the student coaches, for their guidance and support. Congratulations to the following award winners for the junior girls volleyball team. The most sportsmanlike is Emma Clark. The most improved is Sophia Chan. And the most valuable player is Vanessa Clark. This concludes the presentations of our awards. Ms. Dales will now present the major athletic awards. Good evening, parents, teachers, coaches, and Brookfield athletes. Thank you for taking the time to watch our online version of our athletic banquet this year. I know we would all rather be celebrating together in person. I'd like to thank Mr. Edwards and his athletic leadership class for all of the hard work and time you, they put into making this video happen. I'd like to let our athletes know that not only are we going to recognize their accomplishments here, but we are also going to present our athletic awards to our athletes in the fall in person. For our grade 12 students, we will do this at the graduation ceremony. And for our grade nine to 11 students, this will happen in combination with your academic awards night. Let's get started with the major athletic awards. Our first award is the Crichton Trophy. This award is named after Miss Crichton, a former phys ed teacher at Brookfield High School. It is presented each year to a female in good academic standing who is deemed to have contributed the most to Brookfield's athletic or phys ed program. In our 2019-2020 school year, we believe we have two students who are very deserving of this award. Our first winner competed in multiple sports this year, curling, wrestling, ultimate, and likely would have played soccer in the spring. On top of her role as an athlete, she remains an excellent leader within her phys ed and fitness classes, and also spent countless hours taking photos of our sports teams for our yearbook. She always shows tons of enthusiasm, great sportsmanship, and very strong commitment and dedication to our Brookfield athletic teams and to our phys ed program. Our second winner is a student who has been an excellent role model and leader within the multiple phys ed and fitness classes she has taken. She played a key role in last year's athletic leadership class and can always be found hanging around the gym at lunch during girls day. She's competed in both tennis and track and field every year during her four years at Brookfield. And in tennis, she has won two silver medals and a gold medal this year as she was crowned the city champion. 
She trains hard and is an extremely dedicated athlete while also maintaining excellence in her ac academics as well. In recognition of their outstanding contributions to athletics and phys ed during their 2019-2020 school year and over the course of their high school career, I am pleased to present the Crichton Trophy to both Sandy Nguyen and Milena Georgievic. Our next major award is the Gary Fulton Award. This award is named after a former Brookfield student. Gary was a pilot instructor with the Armed Services. While on an instructing flight over the city of Regina with a student, the Tudor jet developed engine trouble. Both Gary and his student stayed with the plane and sacrificed their lives to prevent massive loss of life in a highly populated area. The Gary Fulton Award is presented each year to a male student in good academic standing who has contributed the most to athletic program and phys ed program at our school. This year's winner was on multiple school teams, including the Nordic Ski Team, the Senior Boys Volleyball Team, and the Varsity Boys Basketball Team. He's a quiet leader and a dedicated athlete who works hard during every practice and game. He was a peer tutor with Mr. Edwards in one of our phys ed classes and has taken multiple phys ed and fitness classes and athletic leadership. In recognition of his outstanding contribution to athletics during the 2019-2020 school year and over his high school career, I am pleased to present the Gary Fulton Award to Liam Bevington. Our next major award is the John Fraser Award. This award is named after Mr. John Fraser, the former head of phys ed at Brookfield High School from 1962 to 1989. This trophy is awarded annually to the person who through sportsmanship and willingness to put team before self has made an outstanding contribution to their sport at Brookfield High School. The winners of this award have always put their team before themselves. They love their sports and their teams and they can usually be found in the gym or out on the field or ice practicing and playing. They push themselves to the max in competition and always give their team 110% effort. Our two award winners this year displayed excellent determination and leadership skills both on and off the basketball court. They constantly worked hard in games and in practices. Our female award winner helped lead her team to the basketball semifinals. Our male award winner was a strong force in helping Brookfield become basketball city champs this year. I am pleased to present the 2019-2020 John Fraser Award to two Brookfield athletes, Salma Al-Hassoun and Richie Ajnor. Our next award is the Rob Latterut School Spirit Award. This award is named after Mr. Rob Latterut, a former phys ed and outdoor ed teacher, a coach, a link crew teacher, and the director of athletics here at Brookfield High School. When Mr. Latterut retired, this award was created by the Brookfield Phys Ed Department to honor his outstanding school spirit and commitment to athletes of Brookfield High School. This award is presented annually to a Brookfield student who enthusiastically and positively promotes school spirit through athletics. While participating in ultimate senior boys volleyball and tennis, our award winner always displayed great sportsmanship and school spirit. He was always cheering on and encouraging his teammates. He's a dedicated athlete and a positive leader, and he took time out of his busy schedule to help coach both our grade nine girls volleyball team and the junior boys volleyball team. We are pleased to present the 2019-2020 Rob Latterut School Spirit Award to Joel Scully. Our next three awards are the Colin Hood Offset School Sports Awards. They are named after a retired OFSA executive director, Colin Hood. During his time at OFSA, 1992 to 2004, Colin set national precedence through his relentless dedication to school sport, developing all-inclusive OFSA programs, as well as promoting and developing high school athletes in this province. He is considered a true leader and a role model for both the educational and sports sectors. This Colin Hood Award is given out annually to one graduating male, one graduating female, and one coach in every school in the province 
who throughout their high school career have been committed to success of school sport at their school and within their association. We are pleased to present this award to a graduating female athlete who has participated in track and field every year while at Brookfield and played senior girls volleyball in her grade 11 year. She is a determined competitor who loves to win, but also shows great sportsmanship. She's a leader, not only in the sports that she plays, but in all other areas of her life as well. Over the last few years, she has volunteered to coach our track and field team and has always been committed to helping others improve in sport and reach their potential. I am pleased to present the 2020 Colin Hood Offset School Sport Award to Georgia Tashlin. We are also pleased to present this award to a graduating male athlete who has participated on 10 teams over his four years at Brookfield. He is a fierce but quiet competitor who loves to compete. He's competed in sports such as volleyball, rugby, rugby sevens, soccer, and wrestling. I am pleased to present the 2020 Colin Hood Offsa School Sport Award to Russell Jerome. We are also extremely pleased to present this award to one of our own Brookfield coaches. Our coach has volunteered thousands of hours to not only become, uh, to not only help our athletes become better, but also to become better individuals. He has taught for 21 years. Six of those years were at CHEO and 15 were at Brookfield, where he has selflessly taken on the role of senior and junior boys volleyball coach year after year. He is always willing to lend a hand wherever needed and always wants to ensure student athletes are given the opportunity to play. We are sad to know that he is retiring this year, but we are also very lucky for all of the years that he has shared with us. I am pleased to present the 2020 Colin Hood Offsa School Sports Award to Mr. Sean Malone. Our next award is the Michael Chatland Award. This award is presented to Brookfield's Outstanding Junior Male Athlete of the Year. The award is named after Mr. Michael Chatland, a former longtime head of phys ed here at Brookfield. Our Outstanding Junior Male Athlete of the Year clearly demonstrated his commitment to Brookfield athletics and the ideals of sportsmanship, positive leadership, and strength of character. Our Michael Chatland winner is a determined competitor on the field and in the gym on the court. He always strives to be his best and even showed that he's fierce enough to dunk as a grade 10 on the varsity boys basketball team. He's quiet, but always plays hard and practices even harder. He encourages and supports his teammates. He displays good leadership and athletic ability in his sports of volleyball, basketball, and rugby. The Brookfield coaches are pleased to present the 2019-2020 Michael Chatland Award to Brookfield's Outstanding Junior Male Athlete of the Year, Ethan Carnegie. Our next award is the Nancy Watt Award. This award is named after a longtime former Brookfield phys ed teacher, Miss Nancy Watt. It's presented each year to our Outstanding Junior Female Athlete of the Year. This individual has shown outstanding commitment to athletics and the ideals of sportsmanship through positive leadership and strength of character. Our Junior Female Athlete of the Year competed in basketball, wrestling, volleyball, and likely would have played soccer in the spring as well. Having strong athletic skill, a desire to improve her own play and that of her teammates, always giving 110% effort in practices and games and stepping up against any challenge that comes her way, the Brookfield coaches are pleased to present the 2019-2020 Nancy Watt Award to Brookfield's Outstanding Junior Female Athlete of the Year, Nisha Gurung. Our next award is the Jim Buchanan Award. This is presented to Brookfield's Outstanding Senior Male Athlete of the Year. This award is named after a well-loved former Brookfield teacher and coach, Jim Buchanan. It is presented to the senior male athlete who displays maturity, leadership, and sportsmanship. Our outstanding male athlete trains tirelessly to improve his skills, never quits, and always works hard to keep his teammates motivated. 
He's an extremely determined athlete and a tough competitor, always giving 110%. Our outstanding senior male athlete of the year played rugby sevens, volleyball, wrestling, and badminton, and likely would have played rugby in this in the spring. I'm pleased to present the 2019-2020 Jim Buchanan Award to Brookfield's outstanding senior male athlete of the year, Bao Nguyen. Our last award is the Sue Holloway Award. Brookfield's outstanding senior female athlete of the year trophy is named after Sue Holloway, who is a former Brookfield student who graduated in 1973. Sue Holloway was the first woman and the first Canadian to compete in both the Summer and Winter Olympics in the same year. In 1976, Sue competed in cross-country skiing in Innsbruck, Austria, and then at the Montreal Summer Olympics. She competed in canoe sprint. In her second Olympics in Los Angeles, she won a bronze medal and a silver medal. She has been inducted into the Canadian Olympic Hall of Fame and is on our Brookfield Wall of Champions. Our outstanding Senior Female Athlete of the Year is a fierce competitor. She always gives maximum effort and doesn't let anyone or anything stop her. She's a great role model for our younger students and is always eager to learn and to improve, always listening to feedback from her coaches. She displays excellent sportsmanship skills as well as great athletic ability. This award is presented to our outstanding Senior Female Athlete of the Year who displays maturity, leadership, sportsmanship, and a high level of scholarship for the second year in a row. Our outstanding Senior Female Athlete of the Year played ultimate curling, badminton, golf, and likely would have played soccer again in the spring. I am pleased to present the 2019-2020 Sue Holloway Award to Brookfield's Outstanding Senior Female Athlete of the Year, Iris Canizares. I'd like to say a big congratulations to all of our Brookfield Blues athletes. What can I say about the year that we have had? This is my first year as athletic director, and I can tell you I knew it was going to be a crazy year, but I think everyone is still shocked with what 2020 has offered us. Some of this year's highlights for me having in athletics have been the many new coaches that we've had stepping up to help coach our teams, our amazing senior girls basketball team and their seven and one record, our varsity boys basketball team winning city champs and our outstanding fans who helped them get there, the parasport workshops that our phys ed and fitness classes got to participate in and the incredible wheelchair basketball student teacher challenge we had. And then our year got cut short. And I know many of you were robbed of your spring sports and the wrapping up of your school year. As tough as this has been, especially for our graduating students, we hope you still feel as though you're recognized and appreciated for all of the hard work and success that you have brought to our school as Brookfield Blues. Grads, stay true to yourselves and wherever next year takes you, don't forget part of your identity is being a student athlete. So stay active and stay involved however you can. And grads, if you haven't already, please take the time to fill out the online Honor Athletic Letter application form and submit to me by June 22nd. These Honor Athletic Letter Awards will be presented to successful applicants at the commencement ceremony in the fall. We are hopeful that we will be able to return to our regular athletics programs next year, but we will wait and see how this story unfolds. Please continue to stay active over the summer, get out, enjoy the sunshine and the fresh air. I would like to thank our administration, Principal Shapiro and Vice Principals, Mr. Grills and Ms. Maholdra for all of your support in athletics this year. They spent numerous hours supervising our basketball games and sports games and even got to watch our basketball boys win the city championships. I would also like to thank all of the office staff, Ms. Coyner, Ms. McTaggart and Ms. Babcock for all that they do to keep our athletics programs organized and running smoothly. And lastly, I'm going to ask that all Brookfield athletes do one thing before this school year wraps up. When I was in high school, I was oblivious to the sacrifice that my coaches made in their lives to ensure that I was able to play school sports. 
when your coaches are at early morning practices with you, they are not getting their own kids ready for school. When they're staying late at a tournament or a practice with you, they aren't at home making dinner or tucking their kids into bed at night. I know they love sports and they love coaching and they love spending time with our Brookfield family, but they deserve recognition and appreciation. So send your coach coaches a thank you email before this school year ends. Brookfield coaches, we appreciate you so much. Thank you for all that you do and for all of the extra time and effort you put into our Brookfield athletes and teams. Take care, everyone. Good night. This concludes our athletic awards for the 2019-2020 season. Thank you to all the coaches for volunteering your time to coach our Brookfield athletes. None of this could have been possible without you. You have made a wonderful contribution to Brookfield athletics, and we thank you immensely for the countless hours that you have devoted to coaching. A big thank you also goes to Ms. Shapiro, Ms. Malvoltra, Mr. Grills, and Ms. Babcock for facilitating all of the different sports teams. A big thank you also goes to Ms. Dales for handling all of the registrations, scheduling, money, uniforms, bookings, and more. Finally, congratulations to all Brookfield athletes and coaches on a short but very successful 2019-2020 season. We hope to see you all next year competing for Brookfield. And Ramadan Kareem to everyone who celebrated.